welcome back to my channel this is my may what to watch recommendations for both netflix and hulu i have to be completely honest i did not plan on doing this video it was just a busy month we didn't watch a lot and what we did watch really wasn't that good they had a few standout things but i know i had around 10 mentions for both netflix and hulu so i had around 20 total and for this month i only have 10 total so it is cut in half this month like i said there was just a lot going on we really didn't watch a, t a lot of tv and then the stuff that we did watch just you know it's kind of mixed reviews um I'm just kind of looking at my overview of my list and I'm going to go ahead and talk about each show and movie individually but just overview and looking at my list really only three things stand right out to me so it just it wasn't a good month for TV and movies on both Netflix and Hulu in my opinion but let's go ahead and get into it we're first going to start with Hulu and the first Hulu recommendation I have is Bogus Beauty. Um, this was one that I enjoyed. They were broken down into little episodes. It gave me kind of like BuzzFeed or Try Guys type of vibe. Except it's two women trying beauty experiments. Short little episodes. I'm not sure if it was originally something that was first on YouTube. And then they brought to Hulu to see how it would do. But it was only one season on Hulu with a total of, I believe, there were only like five, maybe eight episodes up on Hulu. But um, if you enjoy Disney, I definitely think you would like this one because they tested a lot of Disney beauty hacks. Um, that's basically what they do. You know how, like, Mulan cuts her hair with the sword. They basically see, you know, could you really do it or is it a beauty myth being busted? So it was really cool if you like... Um, if you like Disney stuff like that and beauty I would say give it a try but um, I would give it three stars it's something I would watch again if they were to add more episodes um, one of the girls on here did have a really really bad mouth so if you're cautious about language or anything like that you probably wouldn't like it cuz there was a lot of foul language used by one of the girls on here but like I said overall cute fun little beauty show okay the next show that I'm going to talk about on Hulu again it's another show I don't have any movies for Hulu this month y'all the only three things I'm going to be talking about for Hulu are shows but this one is Paradise Hotel and Paradise Hotel has been around since 2003 um, I don't know why Hulu is just now starting to play it but um Kristen Cavalieri is the host I kind of talked about it on my vlog just I don't really care for it because I feel like it's a wannabe bachelor in paradise and I don't really care for Kristen Cavalieri but um it airs on Fox um I want to say Thursday nights is when it airs on Fox I'm not too sure I'll have it linked down below if I'm incorrect on that but it airs on Fox and you can see it on Hulu Oh, I'm sorry. It airs on Monday and Wednesdays at 8 Central and Thursdays at 7 Central on Fox. Yeah, basically it's a wannabe Bachelor in Paradise. You know, the goal is, you know, you got to hook up with somebody or you get sent home. Um, it seems it seems a lot more scripted than Bachelor in Paradise, in my opinion. Um, I give it a, a one star. I mean, it's it's entertainment. It has its perks of drama. If you're bored, it makes good background noise. But I doubt I'll watch the next season. It's just, uh, I just prefer the Bachelor franchise and Bachelor in Paradise. But again, you know, to each its own. Okay, and the last thing I'm going to be talking about for Hulu for the month is the show Claws. They have a pretty big cast on this show. Um, Karuchi Tran and Nisim Nash are two of the main characters. Um, in my opinion, this is basically a different version of Good Girls, except um, 
they own a nail salon and they're involved with money laundering um it's okay this is another one that had a lot of you know foul language and adult content I, I won't watch the second season if there's a second season again this is a one star in my opinion it's just there for good background noise it's not something that you know I, I tried to watch it but it just I couldn't commit to giving it my full attention because it just, it, it wasn't there for me, so. One star. Okay, now on to Netflix. I have seven recommendations for Netflix this month. Three of them are movies. One of them is a documentary. And three of them are series. So, the first one is Good Sam. Um, I really like this one. This was one of the ones that stood out to me. I'd, I'd give it four stars. It's just one of those, you know, feel good, almost lifetime Christmas movie vibes. Basically, you know, the main character, she's a reporter and she gets pushed to report on something that's not really in her comfort zone she ends up finding love super super cute um one of the more family friendly recommendations for this month okay, the next recommendation i'm not even going to touch on i'm giving it one star i absolutely hated it it literally made me fall asleep and that was wine country I was super surprised because, again, this is a strong female comedian cast. I thought it would be a lot better than it was. Um, did I give it my full attention when watching it? Um, no. I initially tried to, but it ended up it ended up becoming background noise that just put me to sleep. So, like I said, I'm not going to touch on it too much. One star, didn't care for it at all. This was another one that, you know, adult content and language... And also, I just, I really didn't like how Tina Fey was portrayed in this. But, again, just my personal opinion. Everybody's going to think something different of the movie. Next one was a series. This one had one series on Netflix. And this was one that, that I really liked. I could say Will, Will and I actually both watched this entire season through in its entirety. And this was one where... We learned a lot, we got a lot of good laughs, and there was still, you know, the drama and almost documentary feel out of it, but that is Jailbirds on Netflix. It is basically, like I said, almost a docu-style series where they follow different women and men in, in the Sacramento County Jail. Um, the way this one ended, it ended with a real big cliffhanger as if there would be a season two. Um, Netflix really hasn't said anything about it. But, um, if there is a season two, I'll definitely be watching it. Uh, I give this one five stars. Okay, the next one is Knock Down the House. This was the documentary that followed AOC and three other women on their way to kind of change big money politics back in 2018 and basically kind of follow to where they got to where they are now um i could tell you now if you lean more republican you're not gonna like it it's gonna you're gonna see stuff in here that's gonna make you pretty mad um there is a lot of good talking points you know you learn a lot about you know behind the scenes what it's like running for a congressional seat um yeah you know I'm not I'm not gonna try not gonna get not gonna go too deep on it because it is politically based and I'm not a political channel so if you would like to watch it and form your own opinion on it go see it okay the next one is a series and it is one that a lot of you have probably already seen by now because I've seen a lot of people recommending this one. But this is Dead to Me. It stars Christina Applegate. Absolutely love her. 
Um, this was one that definitely had a lot of twist and turns, but um, I, I would definitely hands down give this five stars. I'm starting to think if this is, I'm starting to wonder if this is what they have pulled out to replace Santa Clarita Diet since they kind of up and canceled that which really offended a lot of people so they kind of came out strong with Dead to Me right after they canceled Santa Clarita Diet so yeah um, I'm giving this one five stars I'm excited to see where they go with season two um, each episode's around 30 minutes long definitely worth watching okay the next one is another series I would say in I think they had eight episodes when I checked last night, but it was the historical roast on Netflix. Um, I'd give it three stars. You know, it was it was funny. I didn't finish the entire season, but Will and I got through a couple episodes. If you're into comedy and especially history, they put a little historical twist on roasting. Um, you know, there's really not much to explain historical roast it is what it is if you like comedy you may like it um is it one i would recommend no okay and this last one is another movie recommendation it is room of the world will and i just watched this one last night five stars i absolutely recommend that you get on netflix and watch this one now um little jack gore from the kids are all right he is the main character um if you haven't seen the kids are all right that's a sitcom on Hulu. Go watch it. That's a really good one. But it ga this one gave me absolute Stranger Things vibes. Um, I don't know why. If you watched it, tell me in the comments below if this gave you Stranger Things vibes. Um, it's a group of four kids, all very diverse. They go to summer camp and basically have to save the world from an alien invasion. Um, super cool. There were some moments where I thought, um, certain things weren't portrayed in the manner in which they should have been, but, you know, overall I would say Netflix did a pretty good job with this one. Um, I'm hoping Netflix does a good job this summer with both original series and movies. Because I, I, I have to admit, I was pretty bummed about the month of June being as slow as, the month of May being as slow as it was. So hopefully Netflix comes out with some good ones this summer. But yeah, I'm going to try not to spoil this one too much because this was a really good one. So yeah, I know this was a shorter one this month, but those are my Hulu and Netflix recommendations. What have you watched this month on Netflix and Hulu that you think I should check out? Definitely leave it down in the comments below so that I can do that. So that I can do that. And be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also, make sure you subscribe if you are not subscribed already. And make sure you click that bell so that you are notified each time I upload a new video. Thank you all so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you all in my next one. Bye.